Hey YouTube, Steve from Team Purple Panda, and today I have a little update video slash um, tech video, a tech uh, discussion video for everybody. Uh, so last week at this, I, I announced that I'm making a new series. Uh, you know, start the next video, the how to properly heavy storm. And I made the video. It took me like at least seven hours to make it. Um, I, I did it and everything. It's all good. But I've been trying to upload it since yesterday, and it, it'll crash around like the 80 percent. It reached like 87 percent, and YouTube would just stop moving, and my computer would crash. So it was really weird. I'm having such a difficult time with that. Um, I'm gonna try to transfer the video file to my girlfriend's computer and see I can upload it to YouTube using her computer and let's just cross our fingers see if that works because it's it's it took me like again seven hours so I don't want to redo it but if I have to though I'll do it for the love of you guys uh, but before that let's just hope this works uh, so in the meantime I want to talk about a little bit about the meta and about you know my deck so uh, you guys know the new stuff is coming out very soon like, I think we can have a sneak peek it's like you know like I'm not sure what a sneak peek is I, think, I know it's really really soon and so you know the new stuff when sector is coming out um, you know you have the new dragon stuff coming out the heretics so with all that said you know everyone's deck is surely gonna change uh, so but before that happens I want to take this opportunity to talk about um, my deck that using currently and i've been just winning all my locals i'm pretty sure i won all my locals so far for the past three weeks it's 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 pretty awesome um i think as of right now i hit the very nice niche with my insector deck and i want to talk about not the deck itself but just some of the tech choices and some of the conclusions i have with this deck in this meta and like i said earlier a lot of this stuff is due to change but as of right now um i'll show you what i've learned so far uh, playing this deck for you know pretty much this whole entire meta and some of the previous ones uh so i'm not talking too much about it but you do have your insector engine the core stuff and i decided to run two hopper um the hopper is of course very amazing um it adds consistency to the deck so exactly what hopper does he adds consistency for a deck that's very combolicious you want as much consistency as you can so i base this deck um simply again off consistency i keep saying that word over and over again because that's exactly what it is so you have two hopper uh once gruff come out i'm probably gonna replace one if not two hopper for a gruff uh the thing about it is that gruff does allow for you know massive xyz spam so you can you can run your power of avarice and you can just spam tears and all that good stuff but also consider that pop itself is 1700 and that with a sword is a beater um so i don't know maybe one hopper on a one grub so just something to play with um, i wonder what you guys think if you guys play in sector uh you want to take these out for grub or just keep them in and add scruff uh like a third grub maybe i don't know what do you guys think all right so um i also played the tour guy engine um the only synergy the deck has uh with tour guy is that it brings out sangan even though that's very minuscule, it's actually very crucial. It adds so much, so much consistency to the deck. Um, a lot of times you will have, you know, your sword, you have your lances, you have your, all this stuff, but you don't have a monster. A single tour guy can change that. Like, it, it, it just, it just, it just makes you feel good so um because of that i only run two tour guy because her only main job is to get out sangan uh, yes i do understand there's a possibility for me to have some dead tour guys in the deck but um my solution to that is simply summon it in xyz away but a lot of times that never really hindered me after all this testing um i played three tour guide at one point it's not bad but i feel like that it kind of it kind of clashes to the deck a little bit where it makes it it makes there's too much options and where you only play one option having way too much option in your hand that you can't play until next turn it's not that good i'd rather be something else so i think two is a good number for this deck uh hand traps hand traps uh two valor one maxi maxi is slowly getting not as good mainly because um wine ups yeah you, you need maxi to stop wine ups but people are not really playing one-ups that much anymore. One-ups is slowly falling off the map. Uh, with that said, you know, a lot of decks out there, they don't really go for um, a massive special summoning spam anymore. They go for more of a control. So Maxi is not as live as before. Again, it's a very, still a very powerful card, but it's not as live. Um, the Levelers, not too live, neither, but they're still really crucial, considering that that's how I win all my mirror matches. Valor is just that crucial 
single one veiler is is what changes game. Um, with that said, uh, I might change this hand trap around a little bit, maybe two maxi one veiler, maybe no maxi three veiler. Um, so we don't really mess around with that, especially when the heretics dragons come out. Um, this number is gonna change. So so definitely, you know, let me know what you think. I found for this deck two veiler, one maxi, perfect. I wanna know what you guys think. Um, so boss monster, you have your gorge, you have your dark arm with the tour guide. Dark arm is never dead. I guarantee you that. Now for the trap setup, um, two solemn warning. I don't want solemn judgment, and that's something I learned from my teammate Micah. Uh, and what he said was that for uh, insectors, a lot of times you have to, you have to take hits. Your monsters are tiny, so a lot of times you are expected to have them run over your monster. If they get too big, they can OTK you really easily. So with that said, you're paying like almost four thousand. You flip both warning already. You don't have enough life point to flip that solemn judgment. And if you do have the enough life point to flip that solemn judgment, you better have a monster to back you up. Um, so with all that said, uh, what I'm trying to say is for Insectors, you don't really have the defense you need to run um, a Psalm Judgment and to Warning like most other deck does. So I took a Psalm Warning, uh, so Psalm Judgment, and it's, it's been pretty working out. It's been working out pretty well. Uh, you have two Finish Chain, so pretty standard, uh, two Tarantula, and the card that everyone hates in my loco, uh, a random ass roll decree. This thing hurts so much feelings it's ridiculous. It's just a random ass common world decree from the structure deck and it's just making dudes cry. Um, why? Because it right now because everyone's playing like something something skill drain. Either hero skill drain, um, I see GK skill drains getting popular here. I even see a GB skill drain. I saw of course your um, your dark world skill drain. So everyone and their mothers are running like, you know, skill drain, um D prisons making a comeback. I've seen Bond this game out play right now in my meta. Um so this one random ass decree does amazing work. Um, a lot of times, if they have like three, four back rolls and phase decree, I uh, summon my monster, destroy all their back row, pop my own decree, and then I set my traps and they're alive. Um, I, I've done that so many times in top eight and top four matches, it's ridiculous. But this random ass decree, it does work. So if you're playing sector, definitely test it out. You know, change your trap count a little bit and throw in one at random ass decree and you, you'll be so happy when you see it and your opponent sets three. It's just amazing. And again, of course, um, in round one, if they're playing against insectors, they do not expect this random ass decree. So it's random ass decree for the win. All right, so spell, tra uh, spell count. It's pretty simple, you know, you have your two uh, duality, your three MSTs, um, heavy, foolish, um, Monster Reborn and Book. Um, if you notice, I decide not to run Dark Hole. I don't feel Dark Hole is that important in this meta. A lot of times you Dark Hole, you Dark Hole like one monster. Um, sometimes it can be really powerful. You know, if they, if they have a Thunder King, you can't get around, you want to smash the Dark Hole. But I found that in a lot of times I can't get over the monster and the Dark Hole is just there for no good reason. Uh, not to mention there is Starlight, Starlight Roll. There's a lot of Starlight Roll because again, uh, the random ass, um, you know, uh, skill drain everywhere you have the randomized decree over there to get a skill drain but anyway you do have um people playing skill drain so you have them running a lot of static roads so that uh, dark hole is, is is very very risky every time you use it so i decided to take it out and instead i decided to play two forbidden lances uh lance is amazing for obvious reasons um you, you have your two excalibur to combo well with the hopper and everything else and you have the mind control um so this deck i built it ar around a few ideas uh rather than going no overly aggressive i want to simply build towards consistency uh protection and build it towards around this ram as decree so yeah thanks for watching guys